So I'm going to go and create these really tall candlesticks here, uh, tapered candles in orange and a slight pink colour. So I'm going to leave that reference image on. I'm going to add a new layer. I'll group these three together and just rename that table. I can turn that off. And then let's go and find a candlestick that's similar to what we see here. So if we go into our candles brush set, I'm going to keep it simple and select candle number three. And we've got candlestick holders that are silver here. So let's go into our color palettes, select a silver for the outline. And then we just work through that process, adding white, add a clipping mask above, go and select that watercolour brush, and then you add colour to the shape, add your shadows, and then again go and add your highlights. blend those colours together to give it a realistic look. Decide if you want the outline layer on or off, or reduce the opacity of it. You can amend the saturation and brightness of that colour we've just added. And once you're happy, you can simply reduce those into one layer. And I'm going to go and do the same again with this tapered candle. So go into the candle brush set. I've got a candle outline just here. For now I'm going to do just a white outline. Add white, set that clipping mask, and then let's go into our color palette and pick an orange for this candle. adding a few different variations of that colour to the different sides of the shape and then we just blend those together. With that wick let's go and select just a simple yellow and then at the centre of it just Add a touch of orange, blend those together, and then I'm actually going to turn the outline off. Let's group those into one, and I'm actually going to duplicate that group to create this second candle. I'm going to go into that colour layer, and let's just erase the orange. I've got white watercolour brush selected and I'm going to select a more pink tone and add that to the outline and then again go and select a darker version of that colour to just go down the left hand side and then select a lighter version to go down the right hand side and then blend those together. And I think I went too yellow on the wick, so let's amend that now. This was the color I'd previously chosen. I'm gonna move it to more of a white color and I'm still in my color layer here. So let's just come in and then I'm gonna select just a more soft natural orange for the center. And I'm going to do the same on this orange candle. For now I'm happy with them, so I'm going to flatten them to save on my layers here. I'm going to go turn that table back on. I'm going to duplicate the candlestick. Turn one of those off and turn that pink candle off. 
And let's move the orange candle and the silver candlestick to a layer above the table. And I'm just going to go and resize these down so they scale nicely onto the table. Merge that into one layer. And I can now just adjust those and duplicate them out. Let's do the same for the other candle. So I'm going to bring it down to a layer that sits above our table linen. I'm going to resize them. I'm going to sit the candle behind the candlestick so it pops kind of just behind there on the layers. Merge that into one and then you can simply go along the table adding various sizes and placements of these candles until you get something you're happy with. I can move this whole table group down on the screen so that I've got room to add the floral in here. I just want to show a hint of the napkin that we've got on this table just to show that there would be you know similar tonal items on the table but we're not going to go into the detail of creating a place setting illustration. So just to show you a really quick way to add a napkin that drapes over the edge of the table I'm going to take, take this draping brush from within my basic brush set I'm working on a new layer that sits above our table linen. I'm going to select a colour that represents that napkin in the picture, so this kind of terracotta colour. I'm going to quite simply create what looks like a knot, and then this is the edge of the table. Something like that, so it looks like it kind of drapes over the side. I'm going to swipe right with two fingers on that layer, and that creates an alpha lock. So anything I add now colour-wise will only refer to this area, so I don't have to worry about staying in the lines, basically. Let's do what we usually do. I'm going to add a darker colour. I'll just come into areas if you can visualize like this is a knot and then this napkin drapes down the side of the table and then selecting a lighter version of that tone let's just come and add some highlights and just blend those in and then I'm just going to place these on the table and for the central one, I'm just going to come in, take that alpha lock off. Merge those into one so they have some tablecloths on the table here. And if you wanted to add some white plates below those napkins, quite simply take a white brush, create an oval, let's duplicate that. So you've got two different outlines. And then just erase the portion that you wouldn't be able to see join them up together I'm going to merge them into one layer and then you can just add white create that clipping mask I can go back to your watercolour brush and select a dark grey and this will reduce the opacity down I'm sure you can see these outlines that we've just created. 
and then just come into areas you think there would be shadows like underneath the plate and then just smudge those in so we've got a little bit of shading on the plate to duplicate another one and with my free form selection on I'm just going to create a second plate above that plate just sit it nicely on top which we can then move into place duplicate out and just sit them under those napkins so the napkin is actually looking like it's draping over the top of the edge of the plate and then what I'll do is create another one of those and I'm gonna reduce the size of it and just move it to the back of the table so there's just a little hint that there is six place settings on this table 